Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete all things related to a Power BI report server. Let's get started. Let's talk about why you would delete reports. Really, this question comes up from me answering um, forum questions. So whether that's Reddit or one of the Microsoft ones. And what seems very simple to me is not always obvious to um, others. And they all have to learn somewhere. So this video just goes off on showing you how to delete uh, the various things. So I'm going to go through and delete a, a Power BI report at uh, an RDL, a data set, and then show you what happens uh, when you delete the uh, overall folder on this thing. The other one that I wanted to get into um, was about linked reports and what happens when you delete the underlying linked report. So with that, let's get started. So let me show you um, the link report. Now, if you have saw my other video on how to create a link report, this is the same thing. So I'm going to just run this report and show you that it runs. And there you go. The report runs. So where this becomes important is what happens when you delete the underlying linked report. So that underlying link report goes to this uh, compliance file. And this was a custom one that I had created, but I no longer want it anymore. So I'm going to uh, delete this thing. So it literally was that simple uh, to delete this um, RDL is just to collect the ellipsis and then hit delete. It's gonna say, yes, you want to delete it and it's gone. So that's that simple. But when I go back to the link report, what's going to end up happening is that this thing's going to generate um, a message saying that the, the report is gone. So that, that's what happens when a link report is gone. Now, I said I was going to show you how to delink, delete a link, uh, Power BI, and a uh, data set. I'm going to do those in one fell swoop because honestly, the setup on all of those is exactly the same. You know, if I go off to the Power BI, it's still the ellipsis delete. If I click the uh, Power, uh, the linked report, you know, manage delete. If I go to a data set, you know, manage delete. So it's not like that's um, rocket science in the, the grand scheme of it. It's just that people don't, a lot of people don't know where to start. It was much more obvious from um, older versions of SSRS, but in the newer version, that's kind of hidden. And that, that ellipsis menu, unless you actually know about it, it's not there. So the other one that I wanted to show you is about the uh, core IT reports, uh, like deleting this this whole folder. So we notice in here that there are two paginated reports, I'm sorry, six paginated reports, two Power BI reports, and one data source left in them. And we're going to decide that we no longer need that at all. So we're going to go off and delete that. The one thing I want to caution you about and you'll see this in a second when i hit delete on this thing there's no warning that um there are reports in here it just outright deletes them the reports are gone they don't move up to the root it's not like uh, uh windows os where if you try to delete a a folder with files in it it won't let you this will let you um you will get a warning that you know just do you want to delete it? And we go delete. And with that, you see it's gone. So if I refresh this page and show you that the reports didn't move up to the, to the root folder or anything like that, it, all those reports are completely gone throughout the, the whole zone. So it's a great way for, for cleaning up um, environments. In the original 
video set, uh, or blog set around this thing. It was all about getting rid of these extra uh, folders in here. And again, we can see that there's two data sets in here and we'll delete that one. And I think this one has, yeah, it was in partial uh, state. So again, I think this one has reports in it. So again, if I hit delete, the whole thing just disappears out of the whole thing. So it's really helpful when you want to clean up something quickly, but it's also uh, can hurt you if you accidentally hit the uh, uh, delete a folder that you didn't mean to. So thank you, and until next time. I want to thank you for watching this video and to remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. This way you can stay on top of all the latest content as it comes out. Additionally, I want you to follow up on the Ask Earth, uh, website to see the companion blog for that and to subscribe to its updates. Until next time.